Hey everybody, Doug back here again. Um, I just wanted to give you an update on everything that I've got done here so far. Um, I traded out and put my, my other pipe back on here. The one that's hollowed out it gives you all kinds of torque. It's a, it's a beast, man. These things are awesome. Hollow that pipe out. I don't, usually these pipes run all the way down in there. Um, this one's cut off inside of here. So this actually acts like a, uh, a regular two stroke pipe tuned where basically, you know, when the exhaust comes out, you get resonance bounce, bouncing back and forth instead of <laughs> this pipe normally just goes straight all the way through. And, uh, then it has a, like a, you know, a little welded piece on the end there for, you know, the threads that come out that hold that cap on. Um, this one here has a, I got a screw drilled through the, uh, the other little pipe that comes up off it on the inside holding this together, keeps that cap on there. But yeah, those pipes are awesome. Um, anyway, um, I got the starter set up, alternator. Uh, either way, I got I, I got all the pulleys and stuff ordered. I, I put everything together. I'm waiting for uh, I'm waiting just waiting on parts to come in. It's going to be a little bit, but uh, that thing should be pretty awesome. Um, I got something else that I'm working on on top of that. Uh, let's see here, what else? Um, this cylinder head came off of uh, another engine that I had. This this is the one I was running on on one of the original bikes that I, that I started off with. I ended up putting the piston and uh, everything else on here. Um, I got a copper head gasket in there. Um, that, that one I made, I don't, I don't buy them. I got, you know, the sheets of the copper. I just cut them out and make them. Um, I'm gonna put a, probably put a couple copper gaskets over here on the, uh, on the exhaust side. And uh, that way I don't have to worry about that crap leaking anymore. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, the intake's all right with the material I got in there now. It works pretty good. Um, yeah, I fabbed that bracket up and all that stuff. And then I got the pulleys on there or whatever. So um, let's see here. Walk around this other side. And uh, I'll let you see how the carburetor's sitting on here. Um, it's pointing out this way right now. I shortened this pipe of even a little bit more now. And uh, it seems to work, you know, a little bit better. Seems like it might have a little more power. Uh, eventually, I'll, I'm going to have this. Uh, I'm going to rearrange all kinds of stuff on here. Um, it, it's going to take a little bit, but uh, yeah, it'll be worth it. You guys will like it. And uh, I'm just looking forward to putting some pretty cool stuff on here so everybody can check it out. Maybe it'll give people, uh, you know, give you guys some ideas, man. You guys can try, you know, let's, let's hook these things up. We can do more to these than what we're seeing everybody doing online um i played with the timing i got the uh it's advanced S straight up and down is 15 degrees when when their key is normally sitting over there at the one o'clock position i'm sitting at about two o'clock maybe maybe a little bit after that i couldn't really get a good cut into this wheel it's kind of hard to get down in there to remove material but i i, I got I, I got i got enough off to where it worked you know and it did make a difference um it's a little little peppier uh, let's see here once I get my other camera I'm gonna do some videos so you guys can see this thing running down the street here um, I got handles and everything coming um, you know the starter turn signals and all that um, I got lights coming to light the whole thing up I'm probably gonna put some more LEDs down here or maybe one back here shining on the back tire what I want to do is get some uh, put some fenders on here and then you know light up underneath the fender so it comes down on the tire like a car that'd be pretty cool looking uh, what else am i doing here let's see Do -do -do -do. i think that's pretty pretty much about it right now um and and, and when i switch that jug around too the material that's left in there you know when you when you flip it around um, when I gasket mashed it, it's, it's pretty close already. There's just a little bit of material you got to remove from the, from the head and the block and you don't even really have to. I mean, it, it runs pretty good without doing it. So I would imagine, uh, you know, that's up to you. You do that. It's your time. Um, let's see. I think that's about it for right now. Um, I got some more stuff coming. There's some other things in the works. Stay tuned. And, uh, you might be surprised, I'll tell you that. All right, everybody. Um, be safe out there riding. Uh, like and subscribe if you like it. And uh, share. Peace.